أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم صدق الله العلي العظيم. Quran alludes to an important point while it's very hidden from us, and that is as you look at the human existence today in its diversity. In its cultural, language, religious, ethnic, ethnic diversity, as you see it, as diverse as, you, as it can be, the entire existence of a human being has started from a single origin. And that origin has been initiated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when He placed two, one couple, a male and female, and from that male and female, we ended, we ended up having this diverse and a huge group of mankind. This is the focal point of the ayah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the man and woman. This human origin started from a single male and female. And the creator also was one. And the way that a human being has been produced and been delivered to this world also is the same. The origin is the same, the methodology is the same, and the basic components that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to entire humanity, brain, intellect, our intellectual capability, our physical capability, is again, is the same. The brain, of someone who lives in Asia is exactly the same as the brain who lives in North America, which is exactly the same as the one that lives in Africa and in Europe. Either in terms of physiology and anatomy, they look the same. Of course, what differs is the utility of the brain. How much does the person utilize it and takes it in its advantage? But the origin was the same. The capabilities at the beginning were the same. Now, after the first family has been formed on the face of this planet, eventually a human being diversified. They relocated themselves in different geographic points and locations, and based on their talents and usage of their capabilities, brothers and sisters, one person can use his intellect and his brain to its fullest while some other one keeps it right on the shelf does not even touch it based on that difference then you see that certain people have moved forward and advanced while other people have regressed and set back but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pointing to this fact that all has started from a single origin. Now the eye is trying to say this. You have been diversified. You have been moved to different places. And eventually you ended up in being nations and in tribes and different ethnicities and cultures. But the important point is here. And this is embedded within the eye itself. The eye is asking, a human being are in so many respects are free but were we free to be born 
and to enter this human community in a specific community by our, by our, own, by our own desires? Have we chose the community that we are brought up, we came to? Was it a long list, a big catalog given to us prior to, come to coming to this universe, to this planet, and told us, choose your ethnicity, your background, your geographic location, your environment? Has that happened to any of us? Or it was determined by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah says that I have made you in different geographic locations. I have made you in different communities. Therefore, the fact that you are from a certain community and certain society and certain ethnic or religious or cultural background is irrelevant. This should not be a point of contention that you fight on that. You are the proponent of it, and you brag about it so much, you make an issue of it, and the other person who hates his community, and feels that his community is a disgrace to him, then he will be very ashamed of that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, there is no point for saying so. Because you were not given the freedom to choose your own origin. Have I chosen my own family? Have I chosen to which hometown I am born? Or you have chosen this? None of us, none of the 6.5 million on the face of the planet has chosen where to be born. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then what is the point? Why some of you consider themselves to be supremacists while others are inferior? There is no difference among all those groups. Of course, when I say this one, I don't mean to say that culture and community and the origin of the human being is irrelevant and we should disregard it. No, we should love our birthplace, we should feel where we came from and should be attached to that, to our origin. But we should not so overprotective about that and to be so zealous about that and fight each other for the fact that I am born in this place or in that place. And Imam Sadiq says, Laysa min al an It is not out of zealotry that you love your tribe. Love your tribe. There is not a problem. There is not a problem. Love your family and be proud that you belong to certain family. But the zealotry comes from this, the bigotry comes from this, that when you consider the bad people in your tribes better than the good people from other tribes. At that time, this is considered to be bigotry. So the first point that this ayah alludes to is that the point of origin should not be a point of contention between people. We are as diversified as that is, and that should be fine. This is number one. The second important point that the ayah alludes to, it says that you are diversified. You came from different backgrounds. The reason that I have put you in different backgrounds, that you get acquainted with each other.